a little bit about searching in HRS Connect. A couple of different ways to do it. So let's firstly go to a list of candidates here. Um, and you've got the option under the candidates uh, drop down menu to click on the find button. That's one way to search. Another way to search is through the search and filter or sort and filter option where you can filter for the whatever criteria it is you wish and then click on the filter button. So I'm going to cover a few of these now. Let's firstly do a search. So click on the find button. You can also do control F on your keyboard and you'll see that every single field that is searchable has a magnifying glass inside which allows it to be searched in. And this can be carried through to portals, so where there's a list of communications, documents, the CV text, um, the job history, um, even the information and tags, so your skills, right down to the workflow. You can even search within a workflow record for, say, a job ID or job title, the custom fields, and so forth. So let's actually try one of these now. We can just do a very simple search. So let's look for, say, available candidates, for example. Um, who may be, let's, I will choose English, why not? We'll choose English as a language. And hit return on the keyboard and you see instantly we've got 10 records found. Um, you can search in any field that exists. Let's do this in list view so you can actually see this a little bit clearer. So very simple, control F on your keyboard. That will give you a blank database. We're going to type in, let's do something different. We'll do account manager for example and hit return on the keyboard and we've got 13 records found instantly. Um, from here obviously you can do anything, you've got a list of functions where you can do something with these records. But if we hit find if the find mode again, let's go, we'll go back into list um, and just so you can see this happen. There's a couple of things you can do, you can add requests, duplicate the previous request, you can omit find records, you can constrain the search or extend the search, whatever you wish, there's quite a lot of flexibility there. So let's do a constrained search. So I'll just type in London here and instead of hitting return on the keyboard, which you can do, I'm going to constrain that search. So I'm going to go in and constrain the search to only search for London within those 13 records. And there we are. We've got account managers in London. Now that search can be done at exactly the same time. So again, control F on your keyboard. Let's type in account manager. We'll just do it for short this time. And London, hit return on the keyboard, and we've got the same results. It's really simple and very, very easy to do. So let's do this again. We'll do a control F search and we'll get a blank database, here we go. And we're gonna type in, let's do manager this time. I'm gonna show you how to do an all search or add an additional request to your search. So up at requests, hit add additional, and let's do support this time. Hit return on the keyboard, and we're gonna get the word manager and support in all the records. We can now sort this list to make it a little bit easier. So we'll sort on the position sort. That's the field that we uh, searched on in ascending order. And we've now got a list of managers and support uh, records having completed that search. We can also go in and now we can do another way of searching. So we can say filter search this time. So we're going to filter for the position sort. This time we'll choose um, manager um, again. So let's type in manager, hit filter, and it'll ask if you want to do it across all the records or just the current fan set. So again, that's another way to search. We've filtered this filter search in, in the area that you're viewing for all your managers. Uh, further to this, obviously, let's do one last thing. So we're going to the details of your candidate record. We're going to do another search. So another search that shows you some neat little things you can do, which is maybe searching for a date range. So again, we've done Control F on the keyboard or clicking on the Find button. And we're now typing in the creation date with three dots in between two date ranges. That basically will give you your range. Hit Return on the keyboard. And as you can see, we've got 11 records there. Um, showing instantly. So you can incorporate different types of searches into your search. You can then search on top of the search and end up with a list of criteria which you can then flick through quite happily. The search is completely open and flexible. Every field can be searched into. You can search on top of a search or within a search at to your heart's content. Finally, I'm going to show you another way of searching which is the social sourcer. This is when you're searching for candidates from social media sites. We have a range of uh, social media sites that we work with and uh, compile data from. So here you'll see you've got a list of criteria on the left hand side which you can populate. I'm going to choose developer um, and then you can have it an option or required request. Um, let's add some, some few more things here. We've got skills. Now you can choose from your skill sets at the top or just type in any skills in the field below. So I'm going to choose Oracle. Let's do Oracle and Java. 
Um, let's do another one actually, let's do C++ for example, and again we're going to choose optional this time just to show you how the range um, changes as you do a search. So hit the search button and instantly you see we've got 82,000 records uh, found. Now that might be a little bit too much at this stage, so now we can add to this criteria. You can do uh, county, locations, country, whatever, but what I'm firstly going to do is just change it to a required search to see what happens to those results. And as you can see, instantly it's gone down to 200, uh, 2020. So let's now add, uh, let's say, a country. So we'll add the United Kingdom, um, and we can hit this search again. And now we are down to 1193. And we can further reduce this by adding a location either from our drop down or just typing it in. Hit the search button, and you'll see we're down to 453. So the results are going down. Let's even choose, let's go one further. Let's even choose a, uh, an industry, for example. Again, you can choose from your drop down or just literally type it in. So we'll choose, uh, let's do computer uh, software, for example, and it's a required skill. Hit the search button, and again, we're down. Uh, even further, so down to 159 records. Let's add uh, to the criteria, this is still too much for us, so let's see, add PHP to this, and again it's a required skill, so hit the search button again, and you'll see we're now, oh, we're now down to 60, so now we're, we've got some results that we can work with. This is looking good, so we can scroll through and have a little peep at these records if we wish. You can drill into these records as well by literally clicking on them. If we're happy with what we see here, well, actually, we can show you some of the sources. You'll see on the right-hand side, we've got Meetup, um, and we've got um, uh, GitHub there, LinkedIn. And this chap even has an email. So sometimes we get some information, as you can see here, where we also get someone's email. Um, that's because we're merging certain um, uh, data from different media sites together. All you do when you like these guys is fl click on the... Uh, download tab and that becomes a downloadable record. But I'm going to further drill into this, so we're going to find someone with a minimum of three years experience rather than just uh, what we originally had. So we're further down, we're now down to 54 records, let's make that criteria even higher. So we're now hopefully going to whittle this down to a, a list that we really, really want to work with. Okay, so we're down to 45. And as you can see, we've got quite a few records here, we're like, all we need to do or results that have been found is click on the uh, download option, um, check that the data is from the sources that we're happy with, and once we've got the ones that we like, we click on the button that says download checked, and these records will be passed directly into HRS. 